Hello and welcome to the first ever So Unmarried and Iranian video series. My name is Layla and I'll be your teacher for the course. My name is Chris. I am Layla's husband. And in 2010, I started a podcast called Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation. In that series, you learn the Persian language from complete beginning to a conversational level. A few years ago, we got married, uh, 2015. Since then, we've done a lot. We bought and remodeled a house. We had a little baby. One thing we didn't do is teach me Farsi. And it's a new year. And we have new goals, and one of Chris's for this year is to learn the Persian language. So a lot of you may be like him, visual learners. And so we thought that this would be a good way to uh, teach Persian to more visual learners who aren't necessarily listening to podcasts. And so we're going to be going through uh, some of the language lessons, the same format that we have on the podcast, but sometimes we're going to go into cultural topics of uh, things you need to know if you are indeed in an Iranian household or married to an Iranian or have Iranian parents. Uh, so hopefully this will be useful to you. And for this first lesson, we're just gonna go straight off of lesson one of Chai and Conversation. Um, we're using the PDF guides that you can find on our website and we'll talk about that later. But to begin, um, I'm gonna say words and Chris is going to repeat them after me and you are in the place of the student along with Chris. So when I say a word and Chris repeats it, you should try to repeat it along with him. So saying a language out loud is the best way to learn. You can't learn it just saying it in your head. So even if you're in a public space or no matter where you are, just say these words out loud and that way it'll be in your memory in the correct way. And so as in any language, uh, usually the first word that we learn um, which is a good way to communicate with other people is how to say hello and in Persian the way you say hello is Salam Salam That was great pronunciation and hopefully you got that along with him So let's say it one more time the way you say hello simply in the Persian language is Salam Salam and this might sound familiar to you. It's in a lot of other languages as well in different variations. Um, so usually the word hello uh, when you're having a casual conversation with someone is followed up with how are you? It's a good way to keep the conversation going. So in the Persian language, how are you is Chetori. Chetori. Great. That was very nice. Um, Chris has been around Iranians before, so he has a bit of a... Right. I've heard it before. <laughs> He's heard it before. So um, I do want to say here that in Persian, like in a lot of languages, there's a formal and informal way to speak. Um, so when you're speaking to a spouse or someone of your own age, um, you speak in an informal way. So that's why we're learning the informal way to say, how are you? So if you're speaking to your in-laws or people that are older than you, you wouldn't want to use this. We'll learn that later. But again, today we're keeping it casual. We're learning, you know, some simple words to get you started. So again, the word for how are you is Chetori. Chetori. So now let's put the two together. So to say hello, how are you? You say Salam. Chetori. Salam. Chetori. That's very good. Let's say it one more time so you can get that in your mind. So if you say, hello, how are you? You say, salam, chetori. Salam, chetori. Great. And what's a like common way to answer how are you in any language? Doing pretty good. Exactly. So I'm well is a very generic answer for, for uh, doing well, or how are you? And so to say, I'm good or I'm well, you say, khubam. Khubam. <laughs> okay, so here's where, again, Chris has a little bit of an advantage. You may not have heard this sound before, the sound kh. Kh. And Chris does it very well. Kh. But uh, again, this is one of those sounds that we don't have in the English language. There's two of them specifically that we have in Persian that we don't have in the English language. And it's one of those things that you have to learn. So I'm glad we're getting it out of the way in the first lesson or learning it in the first lesson because you just practice it every morning until you get it down. Just wake <laughs> up, 
Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. It's a, it's, I, it's like a, it's, a, it's an affirmation to say, I'm well, I'm good, I'm well. Chubam. Chubam. Ha. Chubam. Okay, that's a way to do it. your throat, too. Chubam. That's a way to do it. But you can also just practice that, that sound. Ha. 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 And it's just in the back of the throat. <laughs> Maybe you can explain it. It's like... It's just, it's just there. It's in the back of your throat. Ha. Ha. You don't want it too wet. <laughs> uh, but if it's too dry, it might scratch, scratch your throat. Your throat. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> so again, uh, this is something you want to practice until you get it. But for now, the word, the how you say I am well is chubam. <laughs> chubam. <laughs> and chub by itself is the word for well. So I am well is chubam. <laughs> chubam. <laughs> okay. So let's start at the very top again and go over these words that we've learned. Do you remember how you say hello? Salam. Salam, exactly. So how you say hello in the Persian language? Salam. Salam. And then do you remember how you say, how are you? Chitori. 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 So let's do it again. Didn't get the pronunciation quite right there. Chitori. Chitori. Exactly. So salam, chitori. Salam, chitori. Perfect. Okay, so if you're asked, hello, how are you, and you say, I'm well, you can also follow up, I'm well, with, thank you. So this is a really easy word, and I'm sure you've heard it before. The way you say thank you in the Persian language in a casual, conversational way is merci. Merci. Yes. So it's the French word. It's taken from French, merci. But instead of uh, the guttural R that they have, we roll the R. So again, it's Merci. Merci. Perfect. <laughs> so to put them together, you say Chubam. Merci. Chubam. Merci. Perfect. So I'm well. Thank you. So again, let's go through these four words that we've learned. And with those four words, we can have our very first Persian conversation. So again, the word for hello in the Persian language is Salam. Salam. Uh, how are you is Chetori. Chetori. Uh, I am well. Khubam. Khubam. And thank you. Merci. Merci. All right. And now we're going to have our first conversation. Um, I'm going to ask you how you're doing, and you tell me that you're well, and follow it up with asking me how I'm doing. Okay. So, salam, Chris. Chetori. Khubam, merci. Chetori. Khubam, merci. So as you see, uh, Chris, when he wanted to ask me the question, just use that word chetori, and that's a complete sentence. How are you? So um, we're going to follow up now with a few more answers to how are you, because you're not always going to be just doing well. Um, so one variation of I am well is to say I'm very well. And the word for very in Persian also uses that ch sound, so good thing we're learning that. To say very, you say khayli. Khayli. Great. So I'm very well. Khayli khubam. Khayli khubam. Great. Now let's say it less robotically. Khayli khubam. Khayli khubam. Very good. <laughs> okay, so I'm well by itself. Khubam. Khubam. I'm very well. Khayli khubam. Khayli khubam. Perfect. And so you're not always going to be doing very well. So let's just learn how to say I'm not well, which hopefully you won't have to use too often. But I'm not well. Khub nistam. Khub nistam. Exactly. So nistam, I'm not. I'm not well. Khub nistam. Khub nistam. All right. And the thing that we're looking at right now, by the way, is the PDF guides that come from our website. Um, they're part of our uh, bonus material subscription on our website. 
like I said, we'll be going over that at the end, but they're very helpful when, when going through the lessons. And all the information we're learning in the lesson is in these PDF guides. So, um, okay, so I just noticed Chubam uh -huh. is I'm well, Chub Nistam is I'm not well. Right. It's, uh, it's the same root there. That's right. <laughs> um, so, another thing that uh, we can do with answering I'm well or I'm not well is to emphasize I am not well. So, Chubam is just I'm well, and it already indicates that you're talking about yourself in the word. But if you want to emphasize, I am not doing well, you say, ma, or I am well, you say, man, chubam. Man, chubam. So we're going to do a conversation using this so that you can understand how it works. Um, so I'll start. Salam, Chris. Chetori. Chubam. Merci. Chetori. Man. Chubam. So here, as you can see, I emphasized, he asked, how are you? And I said, oh, me? Great. I'm good. Thank you. Um, let's learn an, another answer to, or another couple of answers to the question, uh, how are you? And then we're going to wrap it up and go over what we've learned and wrap up this lesson so that we won't get overwhelmed. Um, so another answer to I'm not, or how are you doing is, I'm not bad. That's a very common answer. And in this, we use a word that we use in English. The word for um, bad in English or in Persian is bad. Bad. <laughs> yes. It's a little bit of a different pronunciation. See if you can tell the difference. Bad in English and then bad in Persian. Bad. <laughs> yes. So it's a little bit shorter and a little bit more uh, emphasized. So to say I'm not bad, you say Bad nistam. Bad nistam. Great. And when you're speaking Persian, try to use that Persian pronunciation. Don't just use your English pronunciation. It'll sound a lot more authentic. Chris did a great job. Bad nistam. So I'll ask you, I'll ask you how you're doing, and you answer not bad. Okay. So Chris, chaturi. Man, bad nistam. Perfect. He even threw in the ni in there. Very good. Um, one last way to answer how are you doing is to say great, I'm great. And the word for great is Ali. Ali. So you can say, how are you doing? And you can answer, great. So Ali. Ali. So ask me how I'm doing and I'll say, great. Chitori. Ali. <laughs> After learning all these new version words. So now let's go back and review all of our words one, one more time. So, hello in the Persian language is? Salam. Great. And let's pause a little bit more so that our, our viewers can think of it themselves uh, before you answer. I know you got it down. Oops. And the word for hello is? Salam. <laughs> Salam. Salam. Great. Salam. Salam. And how do you say, how are you? Chitori. 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 <laughs> Great. Um, to say, I am well. Chubam. Chubam. Perfect. The word for thank you. This is an easy one. Merci. Perfect. Uh, to say, I'm very well. Oh, yeah. Kheli. 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 Kheli Khubam. Kheli Khubam. Great. It's that, it's that guttural, you're waking up and you got to <laughs> say it 30 times before you get out of bed. Kheli Khubam. Exactly. Um, I'm not well. Um, <laughs> Chris is cheating a little I'm cheating. bit. Khub Nistan. Very good. And to say just me. Man. Man. That's an easy one yes. for me. <laughs> Man. 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 I'm not bad. Uh, bad nistam. Perfect. And then how do you say great in Persian? 
Ali. 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 <laughs> Okay, so Chris needs to practice a lot um, before, we next time, before we meet next time. And the way he can do this is go to our website at chaiandconversation.com with chai spelled C-H-A-I. There you can become a subscriber to our program. You can listen to each of these words repeated over and over by a native speaker so that you can get them implanted into your brain. You can listen to the podcast so that you can keep practicing these words. You can print out these awesome guides that we have um, that explain everything that we've been explaining in the lesson and have examples of conversations. And until we meet next time, we will have all of this uh, really learned well <laughs> along with Chris and we can practice conversations together. So leave us some comments. Let us know what you'd like to learn on this uh, journey. And hopefully this is the year of learning Persian for all of us. Hopefully you have your cup of chai and see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.